Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Brad. Go back to the channel. Go back to the Duel Links video. Today, we're going to rank duels update for you guys. Got a ton of new cards added to the game. And I uh, didn't do one of these for the previous month because um, I missed it by like a ton of hours. But today, we're on time. We're getting this up uh, pretty quickly. So let's have a look. First of all, we have a rank duels challenge stamp event come back again. Uh, so basically, if you if you do what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times between the first to the eighth of November, you're gonna get uh, these rewards. So that's pretty cool. Um, obviously, you can't surrender or disconnect, so encourages you to actually play the game through to completion. But still, pretty cool. They're giving us at least some rewards for this season. But we have some new rank duels here. Obtain powerful cards such as Dance, Princess of the Ice Barrier, and Toon Mermaid. So some cool cards added from previous events. So let's have a look and see exactly what those are, then we'll go for the new stuff. So, first of all, Mask of Remnant. So this was a Marrick event card. Uh, not too great, I don't think. Uh, Master, Masterpiece Death Guardius, again, a pretty situational card. You really have to build a deck based around this guy, and he's pretty tough to get out. You've, you've got to attribute two monsters, including at least one Grand to get Elder or Melkor the Four-Faced Beast. So, it's a very hard card to summon. Two Mermaid is coming back as an SR. So to me, this kind of signifies that we're not going to be getting Toon Mermaid from Pegasus when he gets uh, put to the gate in November. So a bit disappointing, but that might mean we're getting more Toon Dark Magician Girls. Dance Princess of the Ice Barrier is another really, really good card for the Ice Barrier deck. Uh, glad we're able to get uh, more copies of that if you did need that. Pretty cool card. Let's go on to the new card rewards starting with Roaring Earth. So it's a continuous trap card. If a beast type monster you control attacks a defense position monster, inflict piercing bad damage to your opponent. So it's basically Dragon's Rage for uh, beast monsters, which is really, really cool. If you inflict bad damage to your opponent with this effect, target one face up monster your opponent controls. That target loses 500 attack and defense. So it's kind of like Desert Tap here, which we got uh, yesterday, I think it was. Um, I think it's like that card where it loses attack and defense points. So really, really cool that you can just deal some piercing damage and then lower another monster and then go into another attack with another monster and deal even more damage. So your every attack is setting you up for a pretty decent play. Transmodify is another rare. This card was in the game files for ages and we thought it was going to come out months ago. But here it is. Send one face up monster you control to the graveyard. Special summon from your deck. One monster with the same type and attribute as that monster in the graveyard, but one level higher. So, you could go, um, I believe you go from like Dark Magician Girl into Dark Magician. Um, you can go from uh, Red Eyes into Gandora. It's kind of like a Monster Morph Evolution, uh, but in the graveyard. No, from the deck, yeah. So, it's... It is pretty much a Monster Morph Evolution as a card, which is pretty cool. Um, again, not too sure how much play this will see, but uh, it depends on whether... Uh, well, then again, I guess as well, you can go from, from Dark Magician to Dark Magician to Chaos, I guess, with this, which is pretty cool as well. So maybe this will see some play in Dark Magician and Chaos decks, actually thinking about that. Then Kalantos, a Mythical Beast of the Forest, another Mythical Beast. Uh, we got one of these a few months back. If this card is special summoned by the effect of a beast type monster, you could target one card on the field, destroy that target. Pretty cool, but then again, it's pretty weak. So this is probably one of those cards you'd summon with the uh, baboon guy that we got back in... Uh, God, that was months ago now in the the Earth uh, mini box. Um, probably use that guy to special summon this and then destroy one card on the field. And then you tribute this guy to summon the other beast monster. And then you'd sort of like start looping these effects out back and forward, which is uh, pretty cool. Next is an SR, Amulet of Am Ambition. Equip only to a normal monster if it battles a monster with a higher level. The equipped monster gains 5 attack times the difference in levels during that battle only. When it's cast into the graveyard, you can return it to the top of the deck instead. So it's uh, a non-mandatory Sword of Deep Seed, which is really cool. And then it also just... It's kind of like... A, uh, a metal morph, but not as good, I don't think. Um, but then again, it also works on your opponent's turn. So if they attack into your monster, then your monster will gain the attack point. So 
If your opponent is a bit noobish and they don't read cards, then they might attack into this and just destroy the monster on their own. But this, I think, you maybe run one of them in a deck. Um, probably run these in Gemini's, to be fair, because obviously they start out as normal monsters, so you got a Heavy Knight of the Flame out, 800 point monster, equip this to it. It can pretty much take down Red Eyes, like, really easily with that, because it'll be, what, 3 star difference, that's 1500 attack points. So, if you're running it with Gemini's, I think it's going to see the most use. If you're running it in something like Blue Eyes or whatever, then again, this won't see too much uh, help, because Blue Eyes can already get over a ton of things. So, pretty good card for Gemini's. Finally, as an SR Creature Seizure, each player gives their opponent control of one of their monsters. You must choose a face-up normal monster, so again, uh, for Gemini's this would work well with, um, I'm not too sure uh, what else this could be with because there's got to be some cards that, you know, have, uh, that work well with this. You know, immediately I thought, I, uh, thought of Horus because obviously, uh, like level 4, but then again that's not a face-up normal monster so you can't, uh, get a free monster basically, uh, so, again, really, really interesting card, I can't wait to see where people, uh, come up with, we'll see what people come up with for using this card in decks in the future. And now what we're going to do to finish up this video is uh, go to the ticket exchange and do our exchanging for tickets from the previous season. So I believe for my rare reward I got uh, Astral Barrier, I think it was, because you had to use it in Ghost Tricks. So I, uh, I just got uh, those. But uh, as you can see here, we've got a ton of cards that we can get. So I'm just going to grab one of each of the cards. I don't have anything off for the rares. Because uh, they're not going to see much use at all, um, which is fine. I just, you know, I hope we actually get a way to get more of these. Because, you know, only grabbing one rare per, like, two rares per month is a bit annoying. Especially when they add in, like, more than one, like, more than two rares a month. So you have to constantly keep going through and getting multiple copies. So now our three super rares. Let's see what we should go for. So what haven't I got any of? I haven't got any of Phoenix Formation. We can get that. I really do need to farm my. Um, I might go for a Puppy Armor Great Moth actually because I do need it for the challenge. But some Scolding is going to be one to grab first of all. So there's, there's one of them because that's a new card. I don't know why I didn't just go to the right. And now we have another Rank Duels SR ticket. So um, I don't believe there's anything new in here that I really need right now. Um, so let's see what is unique to the card trader. Birdman Joe I can see coming back. Uh, Machine King I believe you can get from Keith, I think. You know, I'm actually going to check that real quick. Because uh, if you can't, then I'll grab it. But if you can, then I won't. Uh, let's have a look. So where's Keith? Keith is somewhere along here. This next one. There he is. Let's see. Can we get it from Keith? We can't. So I'm actually going to grab that. I'm going to grab one of the Machine King uh, big guys. There you go. Perfect Machine King. And then for our last SR, which is going to be a glossy, we're going to go for... hmm. Not Champion's Vigilance because that's been limited. We don't want Forbidden Graveyard. Like, some of these event cards I kind of would like to get again. Um, Gravity Blast could be useful. I'm actually going to go for a Legacy Yard Garasu, I think, because this card is actually very useful for farming decks and having a second one and a glossy one as well just gives you extra points. So uh, that is a quick look at some of the new ranked cards coming into Duel Links from today. Uh, of course, these will be acquirable from rank tickets from this season, and also uh, in the uh, Kyber Corp Cup, your wins will count towards that, so you'll be able to get those uh, those cards more easily. So, thanks for watching. Let me know your guys' thoughts on these cards in the competition down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next Duel Links video. See you then.